I have uh, two Troy built snowblowers that use the 4 in 1 mechanism to operate the chute. And this one has cables that controls the left and right movement of the chute. And both of them were acting poorly. Uh, one wasn't working at all, the other one was sloppy. And I was trying to figure out an easy way to fix this. And what I decided to do was I removed the pin or the bolt that goes through here and drilled a hole straight through the mechanism that turns the chute and the chute. And I put a little finishing nail uh, in there to hold it in place. And uh, the bent, I bent it down to keep the nail in place. And this works really fine now. It works really well. I get full rotation and it locks in place. There is still a lot of play when it's even when it's locked in place. Um, but that's okay, it's acceptable. Uh, at least it keeps it in, in, in the general direction that I want it to go, and this one is worse as far as the amount of play in it. But again, it keeps it locked in the general direction that I want to go in instead of just going wherever it wanted to. I am considering uh, putting the pin back in place and drilling a hole through it to, um, not the pin, the bolt and drilling a, a hole through that. Maybe that will help with some operation of it, but uh, I'm happy with it now. These are great snow blowers. They throw the snow really far. Uh, this is just a very poor design. The I had considered switching this over to the crank that's on the newer models. Uh, it looks like it's almost a direct fit. Uh, I think there's one piece that might be different, but otherwise I don't think too much is involved. Um, but that's about maybe a hundred bucks in parts and I mean it's the middle of winter we just had a storm here in New Jersey and another one is supposed to be coming in a couple of days so I really don't want to mess around with it the only thing I would say is um, if you are gonna do this that you try to do it on a drill press because um, doing it by hand it's difficult to align it straight um, anyway if you're having the same problem on this type of a, a mechanism for your snowblower. This is an easy fix that definitely works. Hope it helps you out. Take care.